Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Mixed Girl POV, where I share my point of view on what's good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, please hit that like button, please comment in the comment section below, and also please share this video. Let's help get the word out. Thank you so much. A high school student stands up to the woke crowd in school and receives a failing grade for it. Yikes, it's Feel Good Friday, y'all. Let's talk. I wanted to tell you about an inspirational, interracial high school student named William Clark. And he is an inspiration, not just for the young, but for the old as well. Let me give you a little bit about his background. His mother, Gabrielle Clark, is African American, and his deceased father was Caucasian, according to the Daily Mail. Gabrielle Clark is suing her son's school, Democracy Preparatory Academy, at Agassiz Campus in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Daily Mail shared a brief physical description of him. They said, quote, according to a lawsuit filed by his mother, Gabrielle Clark, in December 2020, William is described as having green eyes and blondish hair and generally is regarded as white by his peers." End quote. See, William was taking a class called Sociology of Change. The Daily Mail reports, quote, during the class, William was reportedly asked to publicly reveal his race, gender, religious, and sexual identities, and then attach derogatory label to those identities." End quote. The article goes on to say that, quote, students were then asked to undo and unlearn their beliefs attitudes and behaviors that stem from oppression." End quote. The Clark's family's lawsuit claims, quote, by asking him to reveal his identities, he was coerced to accept and affirm politicized and discriminatory principles and statements that he cannot in conscious affirm." End quote. The Daily Mail article shares a hand, about a handful of graphics that were allegedly shown during this class, and I decided to pick out two to show you. I apologize that they're fuzzy and blurry, but the originals on the article were fuzzy and blurry, so this is the best that we could do. In the blue box with what appears to be the cartoon character SpongeBob, it says in white letters, reverse racism doesn't exist. R reverse racism doesn't exi exist. In the light gray box below it in white letters, it says black prejudice does not affect the rights of white people. Again, black prejudice does not affect the rights of white people. In, there's a sentence 
there below an exclamatory sentence between those two graphics that's written in white, all capitalized letters, reverse racism is not real, exclamation point. Reverse racism is not real, exclamation point. There are some bulleted points also on this, but they're so uh, fuzzy, blurry, that I can't make out the words clearly. So I cannot share those, but I could make out what was on that one side of the slide. Here was another graphic. This one in red letters, in all caps it says, Racism equals prejudice plus power. Again, racism equals prejudice plus power. The statement down below in white letter set reads, therefore people of color cannot, and that's in caps, cannot be racist. Again, therefore people of color cannot be racist. Wow, can you believe what they're teaching in the schools right now as we speak? Wow, I'm about speechless. Um, according to the Daily Mail, quote, when the lawsuit was filed in December 2020, the Clarks, who are being represented by New York-based lawyer Jonathan O'Brien claimed that William was threatened with material harm, including a failing grade and non-graduation if he failed to comply with their requirements. The court document says that his school rejected his requests for reasonable accommodation and acted on their threats, end quote. The Daily Mail shared that the Clarks, quote, want the court to prevent the school from denying William a high school diploma and accommodate him with an alternative, non-discriminatory, non-confessional class, end quote. And that seems reasonable, but sometimes the things that seem the most reasonable seem like the most unreasonable to others. Let William graduate and give him a class that is non-confessional, non-discriminatory. That's fair. So my American brothers and sisters, William may not graduate due to all of this drama. This is unbelievable. I am about speechless. He's worked so hard to get to the point he is about to graduate in a matter of months if my understanding is correct. And they may not allow him to graduate over this class. He's willing to do, you know, work towards a class that he would feel more comfortable in. We've got so many schools that are producing kids that really aren't ready for the world, but this young man Want, he, he wants to graduate and it appears he wants to do well in life. This is, this is some stuff right here, it really is. So 
Let, let's talk about the interracial aspect of this. I am interracial as well. And passing for being a Caucasian person is one of maybe two groups or so that I, of people that I, I can't really pass for. Um, I have heard it all when people see me, they often don't really know what I am. You know, it's, it's like a little guessing game. They can, usually tell that there is something going on with me, there is something different, but they can't quite put their finger on it. I am told that I look exotic. I have heard that I look like many places, from many, like I'm from many places around our beautiful world. I've heard that I look like I'm Filipino or Hawaiian, like a Pacific Islander, like a Mexican person or a South American person, uh, to, to Ethiopian or South African or a blending of various cultures and more. I share all that to say this. If I could pass as a Caucasian person, I firmly believe that I would do the same thing that Williams that William is doing right now. I would not deny who I was just to please that left-leaning teacher in that left-leaning class in that left-leaning school. Like I said in my heck to the no for reparations video, part of my ancestors were part of the problem for another portion of my ancestors. It really is a unique position for me to be in and for others like me. But I will not hate part of myself just to make the other, the people in the other group happy. I will not do that. That's not how I roll. It's not going down like that. There is no self-hating living here and here inside of me. And it sounds like William does not have any either. Sadly, there are some interracial people who I believe hate themselves they may hate one half of themselves, or they may even hate the fact that they are mixed to begin with. William sounds like he is on the right path in life. It is sad that his father is deceased. It appears that his mom has done a great job in raising him. She's a single mom, as many women are, and she's raising a grounded young man. He's willing to stand up for what he believes in, even in the face of adversity. The article did not have a picture of William Clark, but they do have a picture of his mother, Gabrielle Clark. Here she is. Apparently, she was on Fox News sharing the story, and I am so sad that I missed that news clip. I would have loved to see it live. <laughs> May God richly bless William for being willing to stand on his own two feet and for not being brainwashed 
by this woke nonsense that they are trying to shove down everyone's throats. May God richly bless him. Uh, on the Daily Mail article, there is a comment section. So readers can comment if they would like. And that is one of the reasons I really love their articles because I love reading the comment section. <laughs> and I did take a peek into the comment section of this story. And amazingly, many people appear to feel like me and support the Clark family in this case. Sometimes when it's a, a story that may lean maybe more to the right, there can be lots of hate from those on the left. But this case, this story seems to bring a lot of positive supporting comments for the Clark family. So let's talk. What do you think about his teacher, quote, allegedly? failing him for his refusal to confess his white dominance seemingly in his class. Do you believe the teacher was right in allegedly failing him? Do you believe that William was right to not go along with the teachings of his left-leaning class. Do you have any other thoughts that you would like to share? Please comment in the comment section below and I'll see you there.